technique of endoscopic sphincterotomy with balloon dilation first involves a limited sphincterotomy up to one-third of the size of a full sphincterotomy. A balloon catheter is passed on guide wire across the papilla and centered at the sphincter. The balloon is then inflated and the sphincter gradually dilated to between 12 and 20 millimeters. One should observe for disappearance of wasting and the dilation is maintained for approximately 60 seconds. Pre-cut sphincterotomy. The indications of pre-cut sphincterotomy include failure of deep CBD cannulation and stone impaction at the papilla. It aims to achieve deep cannulation and gain biliary access by direct cutting onto the papilla and sphincter of Odi. Various methods have been described, including freehand needle knife, needle knife fistulotomy, papillary roof incision, and transpancreatic pre-cut sphincterotomy. The overall rate of success in gaining biliary access after pre-cut sphincteronomy ranges from 35 to 96 percent. Randomized studies have shown similar rates of biliary access by the freehand needle knife technique as compared to persistent cannulation. However, the pre-cut approach is associated with significantly more pancreatitis and perforation than in standard sphincteronomy. This video demonstrates pre-cut sphincterotomy with the freehand needle knife technique. The incision began with the tip of the needle knife lodged at the papillary orifice. It was then extended upwards between 11 and 1 o'clock in a progressive manner to allow a step-by-step -step incision of the papillary sphincter. After the common bile duct channel was opened, bile was seen coming out from the orifice and cannulation of the CBD can then be performed.